Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie, and today we're going to take a tour of an incredible property in Buckhead, Atlanta, just off of Mount Perrin Road. Before we get started, I want to thank the listing agent, Giuliano Tornuschiallo with Keller Williams Realty for allowing us to tour this amazing property. This property has seven bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 6,194 square feet of living space. There are so many things to show you today. I can't wait to get started. But before we go in, I want to show you the front of this property. So you have this beautiful motor court and then a three car garage. And in addition to the three car garage, you have exterior parking over here. So you could probably easily fit another four to six cars outside of the motor court. So it's a perfect home, beautiful landscaping, perfect home for entertaining your guests. I cannot wait to show you this property. It's in an ideal neighborhood, an ideal location, I should say, really easy access to all the highways, 75, 285, and yet you're, you're in the heart of everything, but it doesn't feel like it. It's so peaceful, it's so private. The exterior of this home is a beautiful combination of stucco and stonework. So come on in, let's see what's inside. Okay, so here we are at the front entrance of this home and you're immediately greeted by this expansive two-story vaulted ceiling and then you look straight out into this magnificent view of your backyard with these floor-to-ceiling windows. That is impressive. What a way to greet your guests. And then as you continue on, you've got this beautiful uh, stone tiling that leads straight out into nice maple hardwood flooring. And what I love is the continuity of these architectural columns that greet you at the beginning. And then you'll see as we go on, it continues throughout the main living space. It's just beautiful. And right here is the perfect place to have your guests gather. If your dinner's not quite ready, it's the perfect place for everyone to catch up. Or if there's a guest that's running late, not quite there yet, or dinner, yeah, it's the perfect place for everybody to gather. And then once dinner's ready, we move on into the formal dining room. So in the formal dining room, it's beautiful. You've got the coffered ceilings, this dining room table, this one seats eight, but I think you could easily put a larger dining room table to seat more if you'd like. And you have this very, very practical buffet to assist with serving your guests. I love this with the stone countertops plenty of storage, and then your guests can enjoy this beautiful view of your front motor court and the front of the property with all the windows and the natural light coming in. It's beautiful. It's a perfect way to entertain your guests. So moving on, I want to take you into the primary bedroom. So in the primary bedroom, it's, it's actually on the main level, which I love about this, very convenient living. So you'll notice as we walk into the main, the primary bedroom, you've got this double door grand entrance, which I absolutely love. I wanted to show you this. So it really gives you a nice entrance to this primary bedroom. So as you come on in, the first thing you notice is that you've got dual walk-in closets. So both closets, beautiful built out space, plenty of room, hanging racks, shoe storage. You know, I love my shoes. And then we're gonna continue on because you actually have two in this primary bedroom. So we're gonna go on over. The other one is identical. So you don't have to argue over who gets the better closet. They're both incredible. So your second one right over here, another walk-in with tons of built-ins. All right, so moving on, we're gonna head back this way and check out all of these beautiful windows letting in the natural light. And you can see out the window the beautiful foliage that you get and every, there's not a bad view in this house and there's windows everywhere. So I love that. Plenty of space. This is a spacious primary suite that gives, this is a king size bed and you can see there's ample space, plenty of space for your furniture. You have a nice gas fireplace and a huge TV mounted on the wall so you can relax in bed and watch your favorite television show. Got plenty of space to put any audio systems or equipment that you might have or whatever you need to store. And then we're gonna walk this way. Actually, I shouldn't pass this up. You have your own private entrance to that magnificent backyard I was talking about, which we're gonna check out shortly. 
I love that you can just wake up and head right out to this peaceful backyard. And then moving into here, we're gonna go into our primary bathroom. So again, I love this. It's so grand. You've got the dual doors as you walk into your, your, your safe haven here. You have a separate water closet. Come on in. You've got a separate water closet over here on your left. And then if you swing over to the other side, you've got this incredible spacious walk-in shower. And I want to show you, let's just get an idea of the space. Plenty of room. I love the, the, the seat, the bench. And then you'll notice you actually have a steam option. I would love to take a steam shower. That sounds amazing. And you feel all this natural light. This is incredible. And then if you step outside of the shower and continue on, you have got dual vanities. And most importantly for us women, we love our makeup stations. So I love this. You can sit down, comfortably put your makeup on. You've got your side, his or her side over here. And you've got this beautiful view. Everywhere you look in this, in this suite, you can see out to this incredible backyard. This is a very large soaking tub. And can you imagine enjoying the soaker tub and looking at this view? Out to your spa, out to your saltwater pool. This is beautiful. And the vaulted ceilings even in your bathroom, this is great. Okay. So next I'm going to take you, let's walk back into the main living space and check out our informal dining room and kitchen. So moving from the primary suite, we're going to pass our gathering space and our formal dining room and into our informal dining room. So this table seats 10 and as you can see, plenty of space. And I love how they've divided the space without losing that open concept feel with these uh, suspended glass dividers. That is a fantastic idea. So you've maintained that open feel, which I, I think is one of the greatest assets to this home. You just feel so open. But moving past your informal dining room, you'll notice we're going to move into the kitchen and you've got this great breakfast buffet with, you've got plenty of room to do some seating here, some bar stools. In the kitchen, you've got granite countertops. And what I love is the seamless continuity up into the backsplash. I love that. Very simple, clean lines. Here we have a six burner gas stove and you've got this retractable ventilation system, which again protects against losing that. There's nothing obstructing your view of your nice open space. And you've got lots of outlets. I love this because if anytime, anytime you're in the kitchen and you want to use lots of different appliances, you've got outlets everywhere in this kitchen. So it's a fantastic feature. And then if you look over here, you've got your Gaganol double ovens and a warming drawer. And then you've got your Sub-Zero refrigerator and freezer. You've got a beautiful stainless steel built-in microwave. More outlets, love that. Love all of the high-end fixtures in the kitchen. Stainless steel dishwasher. Yep, and plenty of pantry space. And there's more I'll show you in just a moment. But the kitchen continues all the storage space all the way over here. More, more storage space. So you're wondering, where was that other pantry that I mentioned? It's right over here on the left side of the kitchen. If you'll follow me, it's a just around the corner. I'm going to close this so we can save that. But you've got another pantry space. So plenty of storage space for this kitchen. Okay, so now back over here towards the kitchen. This is a really cool feature. Just on the other side of the kitchen, you've got this very practical mud room. So when you've got guests over and let's say the kids are, and their friends are playing out in the pool, you've got this perfect mud room where all those wet children <laughs> can come and dry off and clean up before they step into the house. So it's just another, it could also be like a nice little sunroom in a way all with all the windows. Not a lot of sun out today. It's a bit of a rainy day. But this is just the practicality of this, especially if you have kids. It's great. So now from the kitchen, overlooking into our formal living space, 
again, you can see Florida ceiling windows and the beautiful arches in the architecture just outside. It's so beautiful. You've got your gas fireplace here, just over here next to your living space. You've got the same, the continuity again of the granite counter here and your mounted TV, sound bar. And now I think it's time, guys, that we check out this outdoor back, this outdoor space that I keep talking about. You know, outdoor space is always my favorite. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are in this great backyard I keep talking about, my favorite. We're gonna head over here and check out this grill space, your outdoor kitchen, really quickly. So over here, separate from everything, which I think is always a good idea. It's kind of safe to keep the grill away from the kids or whomever's playing. But grill space over here, and then over back behind you is the salt water pool. And we have the nice waterfall. You can see it running on a low level down the rocks in the back there, um, just behind the Baja shelf. So I'm gonna head this way as you're checking out the saltwater pool. I love a good Baja shelf because on a sunny day in Atlanta, it's like the perfect place to be. You're just underneath the surface of the water and you're still getting to soak up the sun. And I really love all this space here for sunbathing with sunscreen, of course practicing sun safety. The flowers on this property are so beautiful, all of the landscaping really. But if you happen to know what these flowers are, these particular flowers, leave it in the comment section below because I would really like to know what they are. They're just beautiful. Okay, so over here is that waterfall I was telling you about. It's on a low level so you can still hear me in front of the Baja shelf. And from this perspective, you have got the best view of the grand architecture in this home. I love all of the white columns. And then on this side, we're gonna head over here to the spa. Every good pool space should have a spa. You've got your jacuzzi jets. This is great. This kind of entertainment space, you just can't beat it. There's lots of seating areas too, by the way. And I can see a little badminton net being set up here where we could play badminton. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Quick little detour over on the side of this property. You've got this great area, nature area, where you've got this built, stone built koi pond. It's not filled right now, but you can see the beautiful landscaping surrounding it. Yep, so you can take this nice steps, the steps that are go all the way down and enjoy your koi pond, set up some chairs. But again, it just goes back to show you this property is expansive, it's private, it's peaceful, it's everything. So now we're actually gonna head back into the house to check out the remainder of the main floor, the laundry room, the powder room, and show you where you get to your three car garage. And then we're gonna head down to the basement where you're gonna see a movie theater, a gym, and a nice recreational space. You can do just about anything with that space down there. Let's go. Okay, so here we are back inside in the formal living room. And before we head down to the basement to check out all that great entertainment space, let's look over here. I wanna make a quick note that this is a smart home. So everything in this home can be controlled from one of the many iPads throughout the house. So when we came in today, it was super easy for us. We could just turn on all lights, boom. And then when we get ready to leave, boom, all lights off. So it's a great feature for any home to have. And just two more things on the main level before we head down to the basement. Right over here, back where we showed you the pantry, is the laundry room. So you've got a main floor laundry room with nice tile floor, full-size washer and dryer, plenty of cabinetry. And on the other sides, you've got this full-size stainless steel sink. You've got a little hanging space if you need to dry, air dry things. It's a great space. You can do just about anything in it. And you've got your ironing board folded up in the wall. And then if you'll follow me, one more thing. We've got a powder room that services this main floor for your guests. And it's nice bold colors, nice pedestal sink. Love the modern hardware. It's perfect for your guests. And just outside the powder room, this door leads you to your three door car garage, which we saw at the beginning of the video. Okay, so let's head downstairs. All right, so we're going to head down to the basement. and. 
Oddly enough, <laughs> I usually like to cut out myself walking down steps, but I can't do that in this home because it has some really cool features as you're heading down the steps, like wine storage and a place to feed your artwork. So let's check it out. You'll notice that your maple flooring continues all the way down through the steps. And right here, as promised, you've got more granite countertop and fabulous wine storage, number one. Okay. And continuing down, when you get to the first landing, you've got a great spot to feature your favorite artwork. So right here would be a great place to present your favorites. And then here, boom, your second wine storage. Okay, so now let's head on down to the basement. So right here at the bottom of your stairwell, you have an enormous storage space right underneath the stairwell. A very practical use of space. And like I say in all my videos, you really can't ever have too much storage space. All right, so I wanna point out that in this home, you've noticed lots of double doors, which gives you that grand feeling as you're walking into a new space. So here we go into the basement and right off to my left, a movie theater. Every great home must have a movie theater. It's the perfect place to lounge. You've got a sound system, huge speakers, I love this. And of course, to service your, your movie theater, you've got a nice wet bar, which has a built-in stainless steel microwave and a built-in refrigerator. So perfect for popping your popcorn and uh, entertaining your guests as you watch a movie. Or if you're just hanging out at home by yourself. This space, in my opinion, would be perfect for a pool table, a ping pong table, maybe a poker table, depends on what floats your boat, but it's a great space that you could do just about anything with. And I'll point out to you more storage space, guys. You've got another walk-in closet here and another walk-in closet here. Tons of storage. Okay, let's head over here. This is simply a utility closet, so we don't need to open that, but very practical. And in here you have one of my favorites, fitness. So, I will say this, we're going to look at this room and then another room that's in the basement. And if it were me, I'd probably swap this room with that one and I'll explain when we get there. So in this room, it is adjoined to a full bathroom, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. More storage, this is just another closet. It is a walk-in, so lots of space. And then back here, it's connected, like I said, to the full bathroom. You've got your tub shower combination your toilet, you've got your little pedestal sink. It, it has three access points, this restroom, so it services the gym, this next room we're gonna look at, and that recreational center that we just came from. So from here, I wanna take you guys over to this other room, which in my opinion, I'd probably swap. I'd make that last room our fitness room, sorry, excuse me, our office, and I would turn this into my fitness room, and I say that just because I have a lot of fitness equipment. So this would be ideal for me. Um, I also love the fact that you've got this peaceful entrance to your backyard. Actually, technically, I think this is the side yard. Um, but another walk-in closet in the back with tons of shelving. It's a huge amount of space. You could do anything you want with it, really, but in my opinion, that room is a little bit smaller. I'd probably do an, a nice office over there and then turn this into my, my workout area. Okay, and like I said, all three spots in this basement have access to this full bathroom. So, time for us to head upstairs. We've seen the main level, we've seen the great backyard, and now we've seen this gorgeous recreational basement. Let's head upstairs and check out more bedrooms. Okay, so here we are up on the top floor, and I wanna point out the nice steel cable railing. I love contemporary modern features, so that's a nice thing to point out. And of course, you can see that the beautiful maple flooring continues throughout this home. I love that. As you're heading to the top of the steps, right at your fingertips, you've got a wet bar. And I love this personally with all the bedrooms up here. I don't know about you, but I get thirsty every night just never fails. So to have a nice wet bar up here to service all these bedrooms, I think it's a brilliant idea. You've got your refrigerator, plenty of cabinetry, display, shelving. And then over here to your left, we've got a great seating area, which I guess you could turn into a nice TV area as well. Um, but if you're entertaining guests, this is another place where people can gather and overlook your main living space where the rest of the guests would be. And of course, with, this, with these windows, you're looking out into that beautiful backyard again. 
So this is an incredible space. On the other side, you've got the windows overlooking the front of the property again. So natural daylight, of course, coming from everywhere in this home. Can't beat that. But you can always take a quick peek if you're hanging out up here, getting ready to go somewhere and just hanging out waiting for your significant other. You can always see who's pulling up in the driveway. You always know who's coming and going. So let's head this way and start checking out some of our bedrooms. So on the other side of the landing here, we're going to go into bedroom number two. And I should say technically that there are two bedrooms in the basement, but we had them as a gym and a, a possible another uh, office or a recreational space. So you've got two bedrooms in the basement and then you've got one, your primary bedroom is on the main floor. And then, so I guess you could call this bedroom number four. So it's a spacious bedroom as all of them are in this house. And right as you walk in, you're greeted by your walk-in closet, tons of space. See if I can turn the light on for you, but I don't see it, but it's a beautiful walk-in closet. Every single bedroom in this house has a walk-in closet. So no arguments amongst the kids about which bedroom they get. Love the windows on either side. And then of course, you've got a full bathroom en suite. So over here, we've got our tiled floor, expansive counter space, right? So you've got your sink here, you've got plenty of drawers, and then on through here, you've got additional linen space. You can store your linens or bath products, anything you want, and you've got a tub shower combination. Okay, so that is our first top floor bedroom en suite. And now we're gonna head back into the hallway and check out another bathroom, which is connected to the next bedroom. So this bathroom actually can be used to service that gathering area at the top of the steps as well. But you've got your clean lines, tub shower combination, natural daylight coming through. And then if you want to come on through, let's go on into the next bedroom. So again, like I said, this bathroom services the, the gathering space as well as another bedroom. So this bedroom, again, spacious. You've got a king size bed here, still plenty of space. You've got your windows overlooking the property. Every window in this house gives you a beautiful view. And again, like every other bedroom in this house, a walk-in closet. So now we're gonna come on out into the hallway. This is where I'm probably gonna get a little nerdy on you. I really love interesting spaces and unique layouts. And here, to me, this is really cool. It makes me think, oh, what's the mystery on the other side? It's almost like you're going into another wing of this house. So, and we are. So if you step down into this cute space, you've got glass shelving. This is a great place if you have a collection of some kind. For me, I love sparkles. If you haven't noticed my shoes already, bling bling I love bling and this is where I would probably display something like crystals or anything that sparkled this is where I would feature that and it leads you into this corridor where you're gonna see tons of, of storage space all of these doors that I'm gonna point to they are more cabinetry and storage right and so here we go on my left we're heading into another bedroom yes another bedroom and yet again another full walk-in closet that belongs to this bedroom. Plenty of space. You've got your windows with your fabulous view, just like every other bedroom. And this bedroom and the last bedroom on this level, they're connected by a Jack and Jill bathroom. So let's go ahead and cut through this bathroom. You, in this bathroom that services both of these bedrooms makes perfect sense, you would have dual sinks. I apologize, this light is having a little flicker. <laughs> and so separate water closet, which is also a nice feature because you're sharing this bathroom with that bedroom. So it's nice that you've each got your own sink and someone can use, take a shower. It's a tub shower combination and the toilet, they're separate. So you can close this door and still make use of the vanity space. Now, on the other side of this bathroom is your final bedroom and again, tons of beautiful windows, plenty of space. This side window here overlooks that additional parking that we talked about at the beginning of this video, where you can see all the cars coming and going. And yes, let's not disappoint, a huge walk-in closet again. So, unbelievable top floor of this house.
And like I said, I'm a little, I feel a little nerdy because I get excited by the uniqueness of this corridor. It's almost like a separate wing to this home. I love it. So that concludes our tour for the day. And I want to thank our listing agent one more time, Juliana Tornuschiallo with Keller Williams Realty for allowing us to tour this beautiful property. This property is currently on the market for $2,720,000. It has seven bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 6,194 square feet of living space. It is an incredible property in the middle of Buckhead, Atlanta. Thank you so much for joining us. If you liked our video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next one. Thank you so much for joining us and sparkle on.